Have you ever experienced that? The size of the build increases sharply every time when you add in new graphic assets. I imported a small image, but why the size of the image increases abnormally in Unity? In today's video, we'll talk about the resolution of texture images and how you can reduce the size of your images in Unity. It may be trivial, but this video will make a big difference to your project. Before we talk about the resolution of images that will be used in several game engines, including Unity, let's first talk about a simple computer operation. Computers operate in a language called binary, made up of zeros and ones. For example, to use the alphabet A on a computer, the computer converts it to the number 1,100,001 according to the ASCII code and stores it in memory. Each of these numbers is called bit, and in order to store one letter of the alphabet in memory, eight bits are required by adding the seven digits we saw earlier and one digit for error checking. The 8-bit capacity is 1 byte. Since a combination of 2 to the power of 8 is possible, the total number of characters that can be expressed within 8 bits is 256. So, how many bits does a computer need to represent color on the screen? 1 bit is required to represent 2 colors per pixel on the screen. 2 bits can represent 4 colors. 4 bits represent 16 colors. And 8 bits represent 256 colors. Just as 8 bit expresses 256 characters, you can see that color can express 256 colors. Currently, in most computer or mobile environments, colors are expressed by allocating 8 bits to each color space or channel of red, green, and blue. This is 24-bit color, and is called true color. The structure of the memory is also made up of bytes consisting of 8 bits. The range of values that one byte of memory can store is from 0 to 255. A total of 256 combinations are possible, which is a value corresponding to the power of 2 to the 8th power. As the capacity increases, the range that can be combined increases significantly. Therefore, for efficient operation of the range values of binary numbers, the memory capacity has also been increased by the power of 2. So, what is the relationship between memory size and image resolution? The formula for finding the size of an image is to multiply it by its width, height, and number of channels. This formula applies only to the BMP extension, one of the uncompressed image formats, and there is a difference in capacity depending on the image tool program. For example, an uncompressed 32 by 32 pixels image with an alpha channel will be approximately 4 kilobytes. This is the same value as 4096, which is the 12th power of 2. In this way, memory is designed according to this binary system, so if the resolution of the image is made to the power of 2, it can be stored appropriately for the unit of memory. What if the resolution of the image is out of a power of 2? An image with a resolution of 33 by 33 pixels is 4.3 kilobytes, which is outside the standard unit. So this image is placed in memory to fit the capacity of 64 by 64 pixels resolution. If we recalculate this, it would use 16 kilobytes of memory for an uncompressed image. To avoid wasting unnecessary memory space, the resolution of the image should be set to a power of 2 format. Fortunately, Unity automatically optimizes the image resolution. Let's test it on the Android platform. I will convert the image size of 1530 by 850 pixels into 400 by 400 pixels and save it as a BMP file.
Then let's import it into Unity. We can see that the resolution of the imported image has changed to 512 by 512 pixels. Moreover, since the Android platform mainly uses ETC format image compression, it is confirmed that it is automatically compressed. Therefore, the size of the original file is 469 kilobytes, whereas in Unity it is 170 kilobytes, and you can see that the size is more than doubled compared to the original. Note that this reduced capacity is applied to the build. So, how would an image of a rectangle rather than a square be handled? For example, let's import an image made of 400 by 250 pixels into Unity. It is confirmed that the image has been automatically converted to an image of 512 by 256 pixels. The size of each resolution is a power of 2. Unity's automatic image optimization function is convenient, but the resolution of the image due to the automatic conversion may differ from our intention. So it is best to set the resolution of the texture image to a power of 2 size. If you set the format of the texture image to UI, the situation will be different. You can see that the size of an image with a resolution of 256 by 256 pixels has changed to 32 kilobytes. An image of the same resolution that contains an alpha channel will use 32-bit color, so it has a capacity of 64 kilobytes. So how does the size of an image that does not follow the power of two size change? When I change the 320 by 280 pixels image to the UI, the size is changed to 262.5 kilobytes. That's three times the size of the original file. Unlike the default texture settings, this is the result of poor optimization in the special environment of UI. As you can see from the warning, if you set the compression type to ETC2, you can see that the file size is smaller than before. However, to use the transparent image on Android, only ETC2 format compression should be used and other settings will increase the size of the file. Therefore, to avoid an abnormally sharp increase in the size of UI image files containing an alpha channel, the resolution of the image must be power of two size. That's all for today's video. Thank you. See you next time.